These days, the beaches around Ponte Vedra are packed, but they weren't always this crowded. In fact, on June 16, 1942, Ponte Vedra Beach was the site of a Nazi invasion, codenamed Operation Pistorius. History teacher Drew Overmeyer has studied Operation Pistorius extensively and says a U-boat dropped off Nazis in Long Island and Ponte Vedra Beach. They took an actual like little rowboat to shore. They came across these dunes, went over the berm, and buried a huge parcel of explosives, um, fake IDs, clothes, lots of money. So after they buried it, they just walked to shore. There's several cases of them going straight north to Jacksonville. Operation Pistorius was a Nazi mission to terrorize the United States and scare U.S. citizens enough to demand that our military exit World War II. The main mission for these groups was the um, Tennessee River Valley. They were going to the aluminum plant. They thought if they could come destroy these aluminum plants, they could put our aircraft production in jeopardy. They had military targets, even domestic targets. Some of them were just bridges that were just going to cripple the interstate system. But the plot unraveled within days of the Nazis landing in the U.S. The leader of the Nazi group, George Dash, turned everybody in. Dash being the leader, he took a, the suitcase and some of the bombs, went straight to Washington, D.C., um, to the FBI headquarters, and pretty much ratted out the whole conspiracy, told him everything. Dash gave the FBI key information about German U-boat codes. He and the second in command were sentenced to prison. The rest were executed. But there's another turn. This Washington Post article by John Woodrow Cox details how the National Park Service found a granite monument to the executed Nazis on federal land in Washington, D.C. in 2006. The monument had never previously been discovered, and according to an inscription on the monument, it was donated by the American Nazi Party. In 2010, the monument was exhumed and taken to a secret storage facility outside of Washington, D.C. This story takes another turn. The Nazi invasion of Ponte Vedra Beach had an effect on another American war, this time in the 21st century. Dash wanted it to be a military tribunal. With a military tribunal, it's usually private, no one knows anything. These are the same presidential war powers that George W. Bush used to justify the trials of terrorists in Guantanamo Bay. The way they interrogated them, the way they had not complete control and complete power over them, but to an extent, since it was a military issue, it wasn't publicized, the average person has no idea about it. A story fit for Hollywood with origins in our own backyard. It's just a crazy story. It's just one of those things where we, a lot of times we look to creating fiction to create an uh, interesting story. Meanwhile, there's plenty of things throughout history that are real, that did happen to real people and real events that are crazy even if some parts are lost to history. Reporting from near the site of a Nazi invasion of Ponte Vedra Beach in World War II, Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side. Thank you, Rich.